Nathan Oakley is a flat earther who hosts a daily debate show on YouTube, where the same 50 people watch him be rude and be wrong over and over and over again. Well today I want to go back and look at him because he thinks that Eratosthenes did his famous experiment on a flat earth. Welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon and Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a VPN service that makes online privacy protection easy and attainable, encrypting all internet traffic sent to and from your devices and ensuring that your IP address remains hidden to make sure no one can see what you do online. On top of that, they block ads, trackers, malwares and phishing attempts and unlike other VPN services, you can use it on as many devices as you want simultaneously. It's 2023, almost 2024, and we spend so much of our time on the internet. Sometimes up to eight hours per day. The internet knows a hell of a lot about you, and it's why we should care about our online data. Now you can use Surfshark to encrypt your personal information and send it via a secure VPN tunnel so that no one can see it without your permission, which is absolutely great for protecting things like your ID. ID theft is an increasingly common and scary crime. Now you can use Surfshark and its HackLock system uh, to get alerts anytime your email address or password is compromised. HackLock scans various databases of leaked information and then it notifies its users if their data is found so that they can take action. Click my link in the description or go to surfshark.deal slash simandan to get a Surfshark VPN holiday season deal where you can enter the promo code simandan to get up to six additional months for free. Right back to today's video and the daily debate maestro that is Nathan Oakley. He's chatting with someone on his debate show and he's talking Eratosthenes. Here we go. Maybe acknowledge what I've said to you. I, I, I do acknowledge what you, you said, I just don't agree with it. So you think an angle can be acquired with respect to a curved surface? Yes. No, angles are straight lines. Well, actually, you can use angles with curved lines, but that's not really relevant for this conversation, actually, because Nathan is talking about angles created by tangent lines to the Earth's surface. The thing is, the Earth is so big that any angle we acquire from here on the Earth's surface will be done so at your location. And if you're at sea level, that horizon is only three miles away, which means that curve of the Earth is so slight over that three miles, you might as well ignore it. Do you not understand basic, um, basic, basic stuff? Like angles being straight lines. You think they can be taken with respect to a curved surface? No. Fourth time. Very irritating. Now, this is not a globe proof. I'd like you to acknowledge that you're not going to get Aristotle's angles as on screen for my audience right now because they're straight lines. Now, this is even more hilarious because the little stretch of ground that you use to obtain the angle during Eratosthenes experiment is pretty much dead straight because it's minuscule compared to the entire circumference of the Earth. And actually, Eratosthenes used wells, not sticks, which makes your point even more irrelevant. Not with respect to a curved surface. It proves the Earth was measured flat by Eratosthenes. It's the fifth time I've told you. I'd like you to acknowledge that fact. Because it's not a curved line, the surface can't be curved because it won't give him an angle. Nathan thinks the Earth is the size of a beach ball, clearly. Because the angle is then measured against the plane. Plane? He's acquiring? What plane? He's measuring a plane. With respect to the ground, that's what the angle is. Now, he's just measuring a plane, though, isn't he? Sixth time. Well, indeed. Indeed, end quote. He does... Measure a plane. Just for Nathan, if we did an Eratosthenes experiment and the shadow being cast by a stick was, let's say, 30 centimetres, then that would be 0.0000075% of the entire Earth's circumference. Is Nathan expecting to see a curve here with that value? Now, that little bit there was Nathan's interview highlight at the beginning of his video. Let's go back to the start and see how all this kicked off. Maybe we could ask you the same question. What was it that convinced you you were on a globe? You said all the evidence pointed towards it. What was it that pointed towards it being a globe? Uh, well, uh, well, I did not need to be convinced. 
So I learned that our planet was round in school, right? So I understand that many of you are, think this is a problem. Um, but many of the experiments that were carried out uh, indicate that uh, the Earth uh, is round, right? I mean, the how is the sky guy, the sky called Aristoteles, so yeah, who measured the shadow of a stick and realized that uh, the only way that you could have the shadow longer uh, in one place and non-existent in the other is the, if the shape of the planet was curved. Indeed, Eratosthenes is a wonderful experiment to show the curvature of the Earth and to figure out the circumference. So, I mean, this was, of course, the first uh, documented case, right? Yeah. So you're saying Aristophanes' experiment, okay. Oh, you know, the, what the, he did with the sticks and the shadow, you know, at noon. Right. And he hired a guy to walk and he measured the distance between two points. Gotcha, he's measuring. And then he used that to calculate uh, the radius of the, of the Earth, right? right. He, he took the angles and extrapolated the radius from it, right? Circumference and then the radius, but yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that's what he did. Right. So the angles that he took mm -hmm. can only be taken if Earth's flat. Sorry? The angles he measured. Yeah. They're only capable of measurement if Earth is flat. What a shocking statement that is. I think that Nathan does actually believe that we believe the Earth is the size of a basketball. Take a look at this. If you look at a sphere close enough, the surface starts to flatten out. That is why Eratosthenes could measure his angles. Yeah, I don't understand what you mean by that, sorry. What's an angle? The angle between two lines. And two lines are what? Straight or bent for it to be an angle? Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, so I'll yes. reiterate. So if you want to so, measure so I'll reiterate. an angle... Yes, you've just understood the pennies just dropped for you. To measure the angles, he needed a horizontal plane of reference. That would be to say that the angles are taken from Earth as a flat plane. 30 centimetres of it, yes. So this starts with angles measured from a flat Earth. Now, you suggested this was evidence of a globe. I put it to you that, au contraire, this is absolutely proof Earth's being measured flat by Aristophanes. Were you unaware that this could only be done if Earth was flat? Were you unaware? You seem to think it was globe proof. No, it isn't. Flat Earth proof, my friend. Yeah, no, it's definitely globe proof. Uh, uh, so sorry. the angle sorry, stop. Is not, stop, is, stop. Is measured like stop. you said. Yes. It is capable of measurement on a globe, and then you said the angle. Now this is Nathan's MO right here. Tie someone up over one silly little point and then keep banging on about it. Let's just try that one more time. Angle. Can I explain what I said? I heard what you said. You said it is possible on a globe, and then you started with the words the angle. Did you not? Can I, can I give further explanations? Uh, no, because the I moment, no, angle, oh, I said oh. no, 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 and you seem to object to me stopping you. You said it is possible on a globe, the angle, and then I stopped you immediately, didn't I? Don't object, just agree. I That's what did, happened. Yeah. Yes? See what I mean? Let's see if he lets our friend finish. Right. Uh, okay, I so now I'd like to object. Point is of... Now I'm going to object. The angle, okay. that's a measurement with respect to the Earth, that Aristotle's is taking, is two straight lines meeting at a vertex point. Not one curved line in reference to the ground. Now actually, if we consider the exact point where the angle is measured, then it's an even smaller distance. I can't quite believe that Nathan is arguing this, and I can't believe that his followers are just watching, allowing it to happen. Because it wouldn't be an angle. So no, it is unequivocally not possible to measure this angle with respect to a globe. That is not possible. And why I interrupted you immediately, because you said it is possible to measure an angle on a globe. No, it isn't. Ah, I think we've hit his highlight point from the start. Let's jump past that and see what happens. That's the ground, Zed that he's talking about with his example with an angle that's only capable from measured planes. 
Now you're begging the question assumption that it's tangential to a sphere that's not mentioned and isn't what's being measured. Because indeed he is measuring a flat earth. It's the seventh time I've told you and you disagreed with me. You're just wrong. Now you've affirmed how wrong you are. Indeed he is measuring a plane. Isn't he? He's just an awful guy, isn't he, Nathan? And the irony of telling that guy that he's just wrong is hilarious. Nathan can't even comprehend how the angles measured are used to find the circumference of the Earth because he can't even figure out how to convert metres into kilometres. Nathan, question. You ready? How do you convert metres into kilometres? I don't know. How What's do you convert metres into kilometres? What's the correct way? You tell me. The correct way is divide meters by a thousand. You didn't do that. So if you have a meter and I divide that meter by 1000, you don't think that would give you millimeters? Meters into kilometers, Nathan. You just said you divide meters about. by a thousand to get kilometers. So you're saying I divide something that is one meter long by 1000 and that will come out to a kilometer Nathan. value. And yes, he is wrong before loads of you start commenting and saying he's not. Go and look it up. The conversion factor for meters to kilometers is divide by a thousand. Well, there we go. I don't like to dwell too long on videos by Nathan Oakley. So for today, I'm gonna to say we're all done and dusted for another one. It's nice to see that Nathan is still pumping out all those really bad debate videos. Thanks so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed this particular one, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, if you really enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up too. Now I will be doing another live stream soon. I did, the last one I did was so much fun. I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna be auctioning off this Nathan Oakley bust and the entirety of the value of money that we raise for this bus will be going all to charity. So keep an eye out for that and I'll let you know soon when that live stream is going to be. Just enough time to once again thank Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Remember, click the link in the description or go to surfshark.deals slash simandan and use that code simandan to get a special seasonal offer where you can get an additional six months for free. I've been Simon and Dan, have yourselves a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you all on Boxing Day uh, for the return of Matt Powell and Noah's Ark. See you then.